<laughs> I had this little leaf cut out, but I don't like it now. I don't like it. So I'm just going to cut it off. And I think I like to have... Oh yeah, let's go for the key. It looks way better, doesn't it? A nice charm at the bottom. It does look better. Don't say that I'm struggling with making a little knot. No, because of my long nails. Don't judge me. I don't mind. <laughs> nope. I don't mind. Cool. This is way better. Yep. Alright, so what's inside? Yes. Oh, two tags. Oh, go wild. Two tags. Okay, let me first check some background paper. This would fit nicely. Let's do the finishing up. And I still have a, an amazing page in my hat that I really like to do. So I hope I can do that with this project. So fingers crossed. Then I can do that. Okay, this is a little deeper than I normally do, but that's okay. Yes, okay. And now, if you can see now, now it just fits beautiful. All right, now I do have two tags. I don't know why I have two tags for here. I think one will do the job, but okay. I think one is enough. Okay, and then, yeah, what shall we do with these? Um, shall we do, I don't like black. I don't like black pages. So I'm gonna cover that up with, oh yeah, and these were just reminders. I'm gonna use coffee dyed paper for for that or maybe even a little piece of this well I don't know all right so that is what I'm gonna do um yeah I will show you the end results it saves you so much time to watch don't you think that's better I think it's better okay guys so I left the little one behind because i think one is more than enough so yes patchwork tag love it little ribbon cool 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 and then with this one i just used that page that we used earlier all right so what do you think let's put it in let's put this nicely in. oh i love it so cool. What do you think? Yes. Cool. And of course the back. The back I did with um, coffee dyed paper. Cool. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yep. Another page is done. So yeah. And it's getting thicker and thicker. Cool. 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 All right, two more to go. Okay, for this page, I first made a big booklet, which we are going to put in the back of this pocket. Because I did not put anything in. <laughs> All right, and then we have these two. 
that goes right in here. There you go. And then the last two ones. They go in here. There you go. Close it up. And then this one is totally finished. Yeah. Up to the next one. <laughs> Okay, I'm continuing with first decorating everything what I put in here so I don't have to worry about it. This slides off and then nothing is, this is, yeah, this is ready and that is all. So for this page I only have to decorate that, so oh, quickie. <laughs> okay, let's decorate these together. Um, I still, I still remember that I do not have told you everything about... Oh, this one fits nicely with this one. Um, oh, yeah, I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I had promised you guys that I told you things about London. Um, but in, at the end, I'm totally lost with telling you things, how to do things, and then I totally forget where I, what I need, still need to tell you, or I thought I told you that we were at the bridge and the big, the big van, and also the, the Buckingham Palace I was, and after that I think I think we, oh yeah, we went to the Sky Garden and there uh, you needed to to put a reservation on for a month ago. So I did not, of course. And so we went on. And I must say when first Easter was, nothing much was open. So we went after Sky Garden to Leiden Hall, but Leiden Hall was also closed. Well, one, one bar was open, but... Was a bit a little bit too fancy for us so so yeah everything was closed in Leiden Hall thought it would be fun but I must confess it was also pretty small so so I think I do not miss that much on that piece and from that um, yeah we did find a place um, I have no idea what kind of place it was but we did find a place where we had lunch and um oh this one is cute for this love this let's use this okay we can do this all right so um let me first cut this piece um so yeah we had lunch and after that we was quite yeah tired because yeah we did walk pretty much that day already so i think we um we went back to oh we went to herod's yeah after that we wanted to visit herod's that amazing big um big store with all the expensive brands and when i was visiting there with my daughter i we could not well we could but we did not we did not go to to Herod because we had other plans um, but this time i thought oh we can go to Herod. but yep Herod was also closed on the first eastern day so after that we were at the other side of the hyde park not the hyde park but hyde park <clears throat> and when we shoot across that big park, I, we had no idea that it was so big. <laughs> he said, my hubby told me, oh, we are nearby our hotel. 50 minutes walk. <laughs> nearby. Mm -mm. Mm, nothing nearby. Just across uh, this park. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I thought, well, this beautiful weather, so why not? So we took a nice walk to the park. 
and till we are back to the hotel and I must say wow 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 an amazing big park good heaven I must say also okay that word I need to stop using that so much I must say <laughs> But yeah, I was pretty flabbergasted how big it was and how many dogs are walking there with no leash. I was pretty amazed by that because I would not dare to leave my dog alone um, without, a, without a leash. Um, too scared if another dog will oh this one is also so pretty oh god this one is so much beaten. beautiful and um but yeah i do know that if your dog has a good training then it should could walk without a leash but here in holland don't do it don't do it you will get a ticket for that if you have no leash on your dog and especially in a big park I think that would be not a good idea I don't think so but okay so I was pretty surprised by that that there were so many loose dogs lovely dogs by the way but anyway um, after 50 minutes well he also sat down this was, it was so cloudy but god was so beautiful weather so we did not mind. We find a nice little bench and we sat down a couple of minutes to have some breath. <laughs> yeah, cool. I like these. And then, then of course we took a shower and we, we rested some. And then later that night we went to a restaurant that was nearby Paddington Station. And um, that was, yeah, something different. Something I really liked being there. So I have no idea how it was called. But yeah, it was a lovely, lovely little restaurant. Well, not little, but uh, at least not crowdy. No, it was even very quiet. Okay, um, we're going to do these two. Um, but um, I definitely want... Some design paper for this. Maybe I finally can use. Oh, I think I need to sneeze for just a second. Maybe. Um, I don't think that I'm going to use these because I still have the other ones. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use it for this one. I'm not going to use this. Let's do it for this. First a bigger one. Not needed to use them for two of them, but I'm definitely going to use it for this. And then... The, the, the Monday, the Monday, the Monday we got Wayne. Yeah, Wayne. Rain. <laughs> Don't judge me. Try to talk Dutch. <laughs> That's my excuse lately. People say, oh, you are. Is much like a W-Y. Double, yeah, that. And, well, I don't mind anymore. I always say now, try to speak Dutch. Because I am a Dutch woman living in Holland. Not an English woman. I'm just trying to talk English for your sake so more people can watch my videos. Anyways, the Monday was a very, very, very rainy day. <laughs> and um, we decided to, well, I decided to go to Westfield, the biggest um, shopping mall from Europe, they say. And I don't know if that is true. Because, I don't know if it, it was the biggest one that I ever saw. I have no clue, but I did see some big shopping malls. But this was the biggest, I don't know. But it was, it was huge, it was huge. But then again, shopping with your hobby is not a good idea. <laughs> 
they always have some oh that you don't have to watch because that you have that you have like, oh shut up <laughs> now at least we had a wonderful time but shopping no that was not a good idea to do that together with your hubby if we now do this one this direction Cut this down. So later that afternoon, we we saw it all, and yeah, most of the things are indeed also very, um, very big brands, expensive brands. I'm not kind of a girl like that, um, but I do like to watch. But okay, so I do had a wonderful time at the mall. After that, we did go to Harrods. No, that's not true. That was the last day that we did. After Westfield, we did go back to our hotel and spend the rest of the day in our hotel room. And I don't want to get into that. Um, yes, um, later that night, where did we get for a dinner? I can't remember. It was nearby our hotel that I knew, but I just can't remember. Where did we eat? I can't remember. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's terrible. I know. Shall we use this one for the top? Or shall we just... No, we also can use this one for the top. That's nice. Let's just do Alright, so um, the last day, yes, that was the day that we we flew back to Holland, but that was later that day, so this morning we could finally go to Harrods, and yeah, I finally was seeing it, um, did I love it? Mm. Mm, not because my hobby was there. Mm, no, yeah. You know, the best way to shop is with with girlfriends. That's or daughters or well, with women. I think. Oh, this one is also nice. Nope, we go for this. And um, that is so true. Um, on the other, other hand, I I wish they made a little bit better. I don't know what happens here, but I have a gap. So I need to fill up that gap with something. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is even nicer. Smaller one. Yeah, perfect. Nobody knows. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, brands, like I said, I am not that kind of a girl. It's nice to walk in such a big store. Um, it was beautiful, decorated everything, so it really blown my mind off. Um, but I wish they made a better... Um, how can I say that? Well, it was like a labyrinth. If, if, if I say that, then you know enough what I meant. Um, it was, yeah, not, not an... an, an, an a normal walking through a store. Normally you will have a little walk through or something like that, but I got lost a little bit, so it, it was overwhelming. That is maybe the correct word. It was overwhelming me. And not particularly all the brands or everything, but to find the next step to go to another level. So that was maybe my thing, but yeah. I got lost <laughs> in Harrods. I can say that. I am not part of it, but I am not. Um, say different. <laughs> okay, guys, this one is also ready. And um, yeah, let's see which pages need more. <coughs> this one is completely ready. <coughs> and as you can see, we did not use that much. This one is also ready. Let's check this one. 
<clears throat> Let's go for this one. Okay, um, I open up this one. And then I think that I like to use this piece for the middle. Oh, it does not fit completely. Hmm. That's a shame. That's a shame. Can I not make it fit? I can with this. Oh yes, let's do that. Make it work, guys. Make it work. So let's do this. <coughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So. But I think I can tell you that I do have had a wonderful time. By the way, if I tell you things like now what I just told you, I only I almost feel that I. It sounds like I did not have a wonderful time, but I did. But there was many things that I would have loved to see a difference. But okay, it was not, of course. But that's okay. Yeah, and Tuesday was already the day to go back. So yeah, what what do you do last day? Not much. Not much. You just pack your suitcase and like I said we went to Harrods but that's actually it we did not do that much we went very quickly not quickly but just on our easy going because so because we do like to have time especially you need to have a train for an hour well first the subway and then the train for an hour so we did just very gentle and quiet as we have all day <laughs> because I don't like to rush anything I hate it to rush so we just we decided to to go early to the airport and once we get to the airport wow it was a really Stansted London as airport is a really nice airport I would say it, it's wow it was pretty big actually thought it would be a small one like Eindhoven but no it was pretty big so yep there you have also nice stores and everything and we had a wonderful um, dinner at Leon and um, yeah and we had again a delay from an hour yeah yippee yay -ye. <laughs> I think I will go for these. So we had a delay from an hour and then yeah just 50 minutes and we were back in Eindhoven. Oh my gosh and then five days are really go fast. I think it always goes fast when you're having fun but yeah five days you think oh I go five days on a holiday. Well phew. Blink an eye and it's gone. <laughs> yeah, but we had so much fun. We do. We do had so much fun. Nothing crazy was going on or something. Nope. We just had nice walks. Beautiful weather. We did have wonderful weather. Absolutely. So, yeah. Did I buy anything? Nope. Well, I did buy one two clothing items by the way yeah and of course my hobby waited outside <laughs> so what's okay it really sounds like I am complaining but I'm not I'm not it's just sometimes I'll have a go <laughs> it's just so much different if you go somewhere with your daughter or with your hobby it's for me it's it's a it's a total other other thing okay so now what's next guys what is what is our next plan well next plan is the summer vacation and that I already booked but 
that vacation will be totally different because then we have our own vehicle with us, our own car and <coughs> our own bicycles we have with us. So that is totally different. <coughs> we can get heel catching then way better because now we did not do anything. Well, we did find three or four catches in London, but we did not pay much attention. It was really too cloudy, so that's not a good idea <coughs> to heel catch when it's so busy. All right, so yeah, that is pretty much it. My hobby already asked me, well, where are we going next trip? Well, Mr. I think the next trip will be the summer vacation because guys it's all already April so it's May May June July so no I'm not gonna plan any other trip for now um, let me check how was this page going <laughs> oh yeah this was oh yeah we have a big booklet that we can decorate and here is a pocket and here is a pocket so I want actually something in here oh this one we do have lots to do we have a big tag small tag okay so these three we need to do and then let's see oh I no oh, wait just a minute we do have a beautiful ribbon Maybe that is a good option for that. <gasps> Love it. <clears throat> and then and then the bottom piece. That I will do with with the the coffee dyed paper. Yeah, so lots of things to do guys. I'm gonna show you at the end what. It saves you time guys. <laughs> oh, -oh. That was pretty much that I needed to do. All right, so I will give you a little, not little, not little, <laughs> a little walkthrough. All right, now well, let's start at the bottom. So here I put the top on with design paper and the coffee paper down below. So it's a nice writable tag, I guess looks cool then my second one I started with this piece then I added another piece right here I added another strip right here and another one right here and then I ended up with some coffee dyed paper and then of course the force is filled with magic and secrets oh yes okay so that is my second one and then my last large one I must say I did this big booklet and that this one is right from here so I used that for the bigger tag on the back and of course I had not enough so I covered it up with the coffee dyed paper yes okay then for these big pockets i have chosen for some coffee dyed paper and just a few design paper this is even a little tag and yep just use your imagination use your imagination yeah 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 and then for this pocket also leftover pieces a nice sign and coffee dyed paper yep I think this that that makes it possible to to make a larger pages and everything okay so i did use the golden ribbon to decorate and then of course the coffee dyed paper at the back and then when you close this all this tag big tag goes right here in the back and then we just need to close everything down with this little buckle There you go. Here we go. So what do you think? What do you think? You like it? Cool, isn't it? Yeah. 
All right, and I think this bag is, yeah, this one I did everything. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, yeah, finally. <laughs> finally, I can tell you if we can do another page, yes or no. So we did everything. Everything is now fulfilled. So we still have, wow, very thick pages. What do I have left? Okay, so I also have three of these pockets. So, uh, okay, oh, okay, it's heavy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, so what do I have left? All right, so this is my front, of course, still to be used. Then I have this one left, and that's from the same pack as this one. This is also from the same pack. And this one. And this one. And this we can cut out. Because it's the front and back, so I definitely need to cut that out. And this one we also need to cut out. You can use the strips, guys, right here. But do you want that? I do like the images more than those strips. Alright, so those two I need to cut out still. Then for this one, this is the back. Here we have the background selection. And that's this one. And this one. Let's see, we still have quite a lot. And oh, the glue is. Oh, the glue is terrible. All right, so I always say it's no big deal if you are not having exactly the same papers than I did. God, I hate this glue. But okay, I just can cut off a little inch, not an inch, a little strip. All right, so. And then this is the back. So how many we still have? I think we can make another page, guys. I think we can. We can. We can. Okay, this is also the cutout page. So. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I still have 12 papers left. Oh, we're definitely going to do another page. Yes, we definitely going to do that. Oh my gosh. Love it. Okay, guys. Stay tuned. We're going to do another page. You still have to wait for the cover. Oh my gosh. And I want to start with the cover because I do have something in mind that I really want to try out. Oh. But, no, 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 we're going to do just another page. Aha, cool. Hello, 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 welcome back to my channel. My name is Club Queen and today we are going to do our last page tunnel. So that means one on the top and one at the back. So let's get into. So, um, this one, um, I like this one. It's, it's, let's get into, <laughs> I can tell you about a page, but <laughs> it's easier to do it. Okay, so first of all, we are going to make the outside. So, make a mark, cut it down. And of course, make a fold line. And I think we can already make another fold line. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to do extra because we want to make this wider. 
Um, I think a one fourth is maybe a little too much. So we're going to get for the in between. Okay, same on this side. So the in between. Yeah, I told you earlier what size this actually is. It's an in between the one eighth and the one fourth. <laughs> the in between. Okay, let's fold it first one flat. Well, you can fold the other one also, by the way, if you want. But you also, you're always gonna measure from the first one. That's close, close to, so not from the flip side, from this side. All right, now let's, because the first one is going to be the lid, um, how large do you want the lid? Um, I think a two inch would be nice. So have we can make a little envelope closure thing. So I'm gonna cut mine two inch. You even can watch if you have a nice cut saved from your design paper, which size you want. But I go for two inch, and then my other one. Just fold this. The other one always go on your first. The other one, um, so I have my closure on my left. And then, well, let's make this as we do a normal. I want to have this a one inch shorter. So I'm just going to make a little mark right here. You can measure that, but I do the scrap queen way. I know people, some people love to measure because most of the people ask me, um, don't you have some measurements? Nope, mostly I'm not. I'm not, I'm not a measurement kind of a guy. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be on the left side and then this will be the closure. Okay, now on the inside, um, no, do I need it on the inside? No, we can go on top of this one. So put this away for just a second. And let's go further on our first piece. We're gonna make a pocket out of it. Yeah, duh! Surprise, surprise! <laughs> yeah, guys, I know, I know. Okay, how deep do we want to make this pocket? I'm just gonna make a measurement, guys. Um, well, let's stay half, uh, one inch shorter. That means that I can already do some cutting if you want. I don't measure. Nope. I'm not. I'm just going to do a little eyeball quickly stuff. Does not need to be perfect, but this is a little bit how I measure if I don't want to ruin a full page. So you still can use this, of course. All right. So this would be a randomly a good size to start with. So we do want a bottom hinge and a side hinge. And now I go back because I did not measure correctly, of course. So first I do the sideways. Like that, and then make a mark. And now I'm gonna make my fold line on my mark. See, I even made it a little, but that's a little shorter, but that's okay. That's okay, no big deal. Okay, and then for the bottom piece, fold it down. And I did make a mark. Oh, well, yep, it's pretty, pretty nice. So that's cool. All right, so I'm gonna add my tape on it. <coughs> And then I'm going to cut it easier. There we go. 
at the corner. You don't want any bulk. There we go. Alright, of course I do like a nice incision on my pocket. Yep, I am going to do the same thing as I normally do. I still can use my envelope punch <coughs> to do it quicker. Shall I do it at that? Shall I do that once? Yeah, let's, let's just do that. Means that I prefer using right away two pieces to have the perfect cut. Um, so I need a top piece. Wait just a second. What is this? Oh yeah, that's my base. Um, now these, this one I cut out from um, from this from this sheet. You have a bottom and a top strip. That's from this one. So we can use that right away. Would be fun if we use it. All right. So. Let's put this on with a nice black edge. There we go. Then I'm going to place this. Wait just a sec. Let's just use this one more time. Alright, so what I like to do is put the same thing all to the top, but with the black edges. Hold it down. So do one inch, pretty large, I think a one and a half. All right, so I just line this up with a one and a half, and then I punch. And how to do that on this side, I'm just gonna turn everything, hold everything down, and then I'm just going to go again with a one and a half inch. There you go. That's one, and then I'm just going to grab my my cutter, and I'm just going to apply this when I just see the the bottom piece, and then I can just cut these out. There you. So yeah, it is a very nice thing to have the envelope punch to do these lovely incisions. See now, perfect, perfect, I love it. So yeah, it's easy, but yeah, I showed you also a few times now how you can do that without, without the envelope punch, but God, I love the envelope punch. Actually, only for that. <laughs> you can do so much more with envelope punch, but most of the things I do, these incisions for pockets, I rarely make envelope with them. Alright, I'm just gonna put this on, so... Oh, look at that, it's just perfect. So easy, easy going, looks perfect. That's why I love to do right away with paper because it's just perfect and you don't mess up if you hold everything down, of course. All right, so that is that. Um, the rest of the um, decoration paper we can, oh, oh, first the bottom. Why I always forget that, I don't know. Let me first do the bottom piece. All right, so we have, this goes to the right and I want my opening to be on the left. So this is going to be bottom piece on the side where the hinge is. Okay, place that down. Go. Use the tape if you want. Where is it for? It holds everything what you put inside will be not in the way with the hinge. 
I love this method and I have no troubles with that. Just burnish this down nicely and fur. And then it will hold. This is, big, it, this is a big pocket so I don't have to make that extra with the bone folder. That is for small pockets. For big pockets, that's no need. Alright, so that is done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe we can make a nice corner. Let's make it a little bit more fancy. Yeah. I like that. And we're also going to do that on the lid. Okay, cool. So that is that is ready. Let's put some tape on. And well, I think we can put it in already. So we can go further on the inside because it's not ready yet. No, now we can. This is actually only the closure, guys. This is only the closure. So now we can do all kind of things. I even can make another pocket on this side. Let me check. Ah, we can. Maybe small ones or something. Yeah, I definitely like, like that. Is it easier? Yeah, I think it's easier when we do that right away. Yeah, let's work on first these and decorations and everything. It's easy, easy, easy going. Okay, I'm gonna use this piece of paper that is, I believe, from the background paper pack. Yeah, I definitely know because this is the same one. This is the same one, but this is definitely from the other one. So, yep, the background paper pack. Let's cut this from this top stay away a little from the edges you don't want to make this too tight all right I'll first cut it this way and you still have a nice strip that you can use oh yeah I I really like to split this in two. When you split this in two, I always like to use my fist cards. God, the combination is good. <laughs> I just love using these two. All right, of course, we do need to corner on top and bottom. Go, smooch the edges. And now I want to have some tuck spots if you have pictures to put in here. So, what I'm going to do with these is I'm just going to use because we do have so many ribbons that we can use. And I really like the combination of these three. What do you think? I don't know how many that oh we also have some lace. Oh my gosh, we also have some lace. Oh that is definitely also oh god. Um yeah, wait just a second. I don't know how many do we need. Um let me first go with these three and then I always can use these. Oh and I also have some seam binding. Yeah, and I do have the gold one still. Okay. <coughs> Definitely going to use two of these. Love these. And then I really like to have some corners. Like... Like making it with nice pockets with these three. What do you think? I like that. Too bright? No, I think it's, it looks amazing. 
<clears throat> okay, what's the best thing to do? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. So this is my top. Let's do one at a time. This is my top one, so we do need some tape at the bottom. So I like to tape right here. Right here. So let's put some tape on. And of course also at the corner. Let's go here and, and here also. Okay, so that is a little bit what I like. Let's put it right. Not on your table, otherwise it will be <laughs> gone. Well, let's start with the bottom piece. All right. So I'm just going to start the corner right here. So I'm just going to fold it around it. So that will be not that difficult. Okay. Another piece on this side. There we go. I'm just going to try to see the same angle as I did on this side. There we go. Yep, let's go to the, yeah, you can use two colors or three, that's totally up to you. I like to use these three. All right, let's go for the next one. the next and then you will get a nice loose pockets tuck spots actually very easy but very, I don't know if I have enough tape for this one should have put this one is okay but this one we do need some extra there we go <coughs> alright the brown So if you have, let's for example, have a nice picture, of course this is not fitting, but if you cut your piece a little smaller than this one, it fits amazingly well for a nice picture frame. You even can put a little, a little on here if you want, maybe you have a nice, well, for you can glue on everything if you want it's it's just an option maybe small one small piece of this one i always love that small one this is a small one 
if you want, not not needed, but. Why not? All right, so I kept this clean. think oh oh yeah of course <laughs> yes of course I have still tape on it mm -mm -mm -mm. all right yeah cool and then we can put that on the page when cool I love it put it on Burns you down. Let it dry. Maybe I could do better if I do another double sided tape over the ribbon because now I need to wait just a little longer before the glue is ready but you get the picture all right so if you want not necessarily but I am I am gonna do the other one too same way I love it love it okay cool <laughs> okay and then this <clears throat> is ready top and bottom pocket with ribbons and I added yeah <laughs> um, leftover pieces for the top and then the coffee dyed paper the back I leave it plain um, so you can still add a nice photo on the back write something on the front I still maybe I want to have something in the middle maybe just a nice round piece I don't know just yet oh maybe maybe some kind of this disc of this this lock I don't know but it always is possible all right so um, let's find something for the front I did not make this too tight no it is just fine okay all right um, let's go to the front first um, I'm gonna put some coffee dyed paper on the back and then for the front, we definitely need a wound because I want to have a closure. Um, I know I <laughs> I had somewhere the other one already cut out. Totally, it was in front of me, but um, I think I lost it somewhere. But. Well, otherwise I still can cut two different ones, but I thought I had one. Yeah, that's the shame of me not put anything in a <clears throat> in a little tray like this one. Okay. Well, anyways, <clears throat> a nice wound wound one on some leftover pieces. That's also fine to be used. Um, but let's see what we want for this top P. 
piece. Okay, let's grab in the paper and let me decide which one. 